So, ready? Here's a story for you. That is a 0.5 millimeter drill bit. It's ridiculously small. I've broken several of them before. For scale, there's a Coke can. Very, very, very small. So if I wanted to drill a 0.5 millimeter hole in a heater barrel on my lathe, the idea would be you'd want something like this, a chuck that fits into the tailstock, and you could hold a steady drill bit and then move that into the spinning piece, right? Problem is, that is way too big to hold that. Way, way, way too big. I'm losing this. Just It just stuck to my hand just because my hand has oil on it. That's how small that drill bit is. So, I needed to solve that problem. So this morning I started looking online and I saw, oh, hey, there's a Dremel tool bit, uh, to, uh, chuck that you can get that's very, very small that should be able to hold. Uh, and the Imperial size is looked too big. It said the smallest was 132nd. But then I found a European site that talked about the same model that said it would go to 0.4 millimeter. So that's what I want. So the tolerances were, all right. So I went out to the store and I bought this. Great to chuck, but what's that about? So the way that it works is you take your Dremel, you screw it on, Ugh, I can't do this part with the video, okay, you screw it on, and as you screw it on, the jaws of the chuck come out. Well, that's great for your Dremel, but that's horrible for my idea for here. What I wanted... Alright, getting this off. What I wanted was to have the teeth in this kind of hold the outside edge of that so that I could have that all in there, but that whole fact that that mechanism in there uh, needs this is what's killing me. So, <laughs> I own a lathe! So you know what I did? I made that part. <laughs> Just took a hunk of aluminum, and I turned it down, and then I cut threads. I set up my lathe to do... I figured out what the threading on this was. It was uh, 40 threads per inch. Uh, and I figured what I needed to turn it down to for the right size. So I cut it down. I turned threads on it. And then I bored out the hole to exactly the width of the inside on my Dremel. So, let's see if I can do this with, without dropping the phone. Behold, I have this, a tool holder that I built. Ah, son of a... Ah. Alright, let's try this again. So there's the tool holder. And <laughs> so then I can put that in here, tighten that up, Check it out! Look what I made. I will make one attempt to put this in. I had it in before for a picture. I took it apart for this video. Watch me lose the drill bit right now.
Let's see if we can get that fixed at all. <laughs> Excellent. 0.5 millimeter drill bit. I can actually use now. <laughs> Instead of all the garbage that I was trying to do before with it, with the drill press. I made that today. Awesome. Awesome!